Hi guys, welcome to the new section, our type choices. In this section, we will take a look at classes, access controls, and enumerations, tuples, value, and reference types. We'll also see recursive data types and inheritance for reference types, along with dynamic dispatch. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with classes. In this video, we're going to take a look at the backbone of object-oriented programming, the class. In object-oriented programming, we cannot create an object without a blueprint that tells the application what properties and methods to expect from the object. In most object-oriented languages, this blueprint comes in the form of a class. Let's look at how we would use a class in Swift. We will use the term instance when referring to instances of structures and classes. The next type we are going to look at is arguably the most important type in the Swift language, structures. Apple has said that Swift developers should prefer value types over reference types. If we look at the Swift standard library, available at this link, we will see that the majority of types are implemented using structures. Let's see how we could create a structure. If we compare this structure to the class, we can see some very basic differences. In the structure, we are not required to define an initializer because the structure will create a default initializer for us if we do not provide one to set any properties that need to be initialized. This default initializer will require us to provide initial values for all non-optional properties when we create an instance of the structure. When we run the code, the project is built. Now that we've seen classes, 